May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. March 30th, 2024 Holy Saturday at the Easter Vigil in the Holy Night of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And when the Sabbath had passed, Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Salome, bought aromatic spices, so that when they arrived they could anoint Jesus. And very early in the morning, on the first of the Sabbaths, they went to the tomb, the sun having now risen. And they said to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us, away from the entrance of the tomb? And looking, they saw that the stone was rolled back. For certainly it was very large. And upon entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, covered with a white robe, and they were astonished. And he said to them, Do not become frightened. You are seeking Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified one. He has risen. He is not here. Behold, the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you shall see him, just as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How does Jesus' resurrection bring hope and joy into your life? Do not be amazed, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen, he is not here, see the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee, there you will see him, as he told you. Mark 16 verses 6 to 7 Early Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb to pay their last tribute to a dead body. The disciples thought that everything had finished in tragedy. Neither were ready to see an empty tomb, and hear the angel's message, Do not be amazed, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen, he is not here, see the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee, there you will see him, as he told you. The angel urged them to believe that Jesus had indeed risen, just as he had promised. In joy, then went to share the good news with the other disciples. Is it any small wonder that it was the women, rather than the apostles, who first witnessed the empty tomb and the resurrected Lord. Isidore of Seville, a 7th century church father comments on this, as a woman, Eve, was first to taste death, so a woman, Mary Magdalene, was first to taste life. As a woman was prescient in the fall, so a woman was prescient in beholding the dawning of redemption, thus reversing the curse upon Eve. The first to testify to the risen Lord was a woman from whom Jesus had cast out seven demons. What is the significance of the stone being rolled away? It would have taken several people to move such a stone. And besides, the sealed tomb had been guarded by soldiers. This is clearly the first sign of the resurrection. Bede, a church father from the 8th century, comments, the angel rolled back the stone, not to throw open a way for our Lord to come forth, but to provide evidence to people that he had already come forth. As the virgin's womb was closed, so the sepulchre was closed, yet he entered the world through her closed womb, and so he left the world through the closed sepulchre. Another church father remarked, to behold the resurrection, the stone must first be rolled away from our hearts according to Peter Chrysologus, 5th century. Do you know the joy of the resurrection? It is significant that the disciples had to first deal with the empty tomb before they could come to grips with the fact that Scripture had foretold that Jesus would die for our sins and then rise triumphant. 
They disbelieved until they saw the empty tomb. Bede explains why the risen Lord revealed himself gradually to the disciples. Our Lord and Redeemer revealed the glory of his resurrection to his disciples gradually, and over a period of time, undoubtedly because so great was the virtue of the miracle, that the weak hearts of mortals could not grasp the significance of this all at once. Thus, he had regard for the frailty of those seeking him. To those who came first to the tomb, both the women who were aflame with love for him and the men, he showed the stone rolled back. Since his body had been carried away, he showed them the linen cloths, in which it had been wrapped lying there alone. Then, to the women who were searching eagerly, who were confused in their minds about what they had found out about him, he showed a vision of angels, who disclosed evidences of the fact that he had risen again. Thus, with the report of his resurrection already accomplished, going ahead of him, the Lord of hosts and the King of glory himself, at length appeared, and made clear with what great might he had overcome, the death he had temporarily tasted. One thing is certain, if Jesus had not risen from the dead and appeared to his disciples, we would never have heard of him. Nothing else could have changed sad and despairing men and women into people radiant with joy and courage. The reality of the resurrection is the central fact of the Christian faith. Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Lord gives us eyes of faith to know him and the power of his resurrection. The greatest joy we can have is to encounter the living Lord and to know him personally. Do you celebrate the Feast of Easter with joy and thanksgiving for the victory which Jesus has won for you over sin and death? Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have triumphed over the grave and you have won new life for us. Give me the eyes of faith to see you in your glory. Help me to draw near to you and to grow in the knowledge of your great love and power. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.